tell me where is the turbo pump. I'm more curious where is the turbo pump because I can't see it. Unless these two, that and that. Yeah, no, turbo pump is always the most smallest part of the system. What is this? Ah. Turbo pump is this. So, one for oxygen and one for. So this is your real 3D printed. This is we have actually fired this. One. Can I touch? Yeah, this is. This is sorry, 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 sorry. This part is actually the real, real Okay. So the different parts that go in here are what are displayed here, right? So you have the igniters, transit elements. This is a better version of the same container. So all of this is comfortably packed into this one thing. Okay, I was curious why second stage development first? Smaller. Okay. So but yeah. isn't like the same engine up there down there? It's a, it's no. A, it's a smaller engine. It's one third Tesla class. Okay. The first stage has seven engines, each of them 25 kilometers. Huh. Second stage has one, hmm. nine, nine point five. Okay. Why like that? Wait. That is what actually ended up being the most optimal machine, uh, right, for us. We tried to use the same engine, but payload fractions are very less. Okay. And that? When did that happen? That was there in the plan. Okay, okay, okay. Fine. Get us up to half a ton if we have to get there. So, uh, what's the next milestone like we need to look for? Launch. How close are we to launch? Like, see, Skyroot, I know uh, second stage static and first stage static I have to wait for. What do I have to wait for in a next small milestone or what? Do we, will you do like a stage static fire? Yeah, yeah, stage and without that area, we can't even take it to Shara. Do you have the test and demo? That one we are building. That's the harder part actually. The product is the easy part always. Hard part is building the system that we test the system product. And you are still all in on the mobile launch pad? Yes. That is a core part of the strategy, not going to change at any time. Because, see, even if you are going to any launch pad, if you are going to be compatible with their launch pad, even if you are, hmm. first of all, that itself is a question. Yeah. Even if you are, the amount of liability you take up if you're using someone else's property is huge. Right, right. Unnecessarily, why? What? What if the what if the vehicle explodes on the back? Insurance will. Like, yeah. Insurance. No, it will have a the, great day. I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but even if the money comes with engineering systems, money is not exactly there. Even if you have lot of money to build it and qualify it is still going to be a total pain. And one last question. Those things on the side, are they place for batteries? Those at the base, that silver thing? No, oh, no, those are protrusion covers. But why? Because you, the form factor, we had to fit that in for allowing for that. So, only for mounting on the launch pad? Not mounting on the launch pad. There's our engine covers basically. It's for oh, cables. the engine itself comes the engine, on. When it Gimbals actually needs an okay. So for the gimbal level engines, you will see the engine covers finally pretty. Okay, okay. Instead of changing the diameter of the entire vehicle. Uh -huh. Because if you change the diameter too much, I'll tell you what is the problem. Uh -huh. You will have an off dimension vehicle. Correct, correct. Then you can't take it on 90% of the roads. Correct. correct. So that you can't have. No. So the road is fixed. So you have to fit within the road. So in that sense, your vehicle diameter is fixed. Uh -huh. Here and there is something. Correct. Even like Skyroot and all their fourth stage engines were outside first. Yes. But I think now they moved it, moved them inside. Okay, fine. Thanks. Man.